Conquest mode is here, and in this video, we're going to be playing a full silver run where we're going to be playing a junk deck uh, that I actually featured in my top 10 best decks for Conquest mode video, which I released yesterday, and you'll know, link at the description at the end of this one and stuff like that as well to give you ideas of what you can play. Now, I did really like this deck a lot. Um, it really only has bad matchups against Destroy, which we actually ended up facing off against right here. You're seeing a Destroy game. Um, and we also, uh, you know, it doesn't do as great against Wave, and Wave is really prevalent right now, so that's something worth noting. It isn't like dead in the water against Wave, but you do kind of want that turn 5 Sarah into turn 6, you know, burst, but, I mean, you do have the Valkyrie, you do have some surprise cards, and Valkyrie was like a clear MVP here. It was an insane card. I love Valkyrie with Sentry. There's so much to love with that combination, especially with Viper on the board. Really, it is a disastrous deck to play against, and that's why I love playing it, because it gives your opponents very little opportunity. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Is it too long? Is it too short? Um, you know, because I'm not really sure what to do with these kind of videos, because, like, the Conquest mode is A, super competitive, and B, the games can be really long, right? Like, uh, you know, I'm playing proving matches uh, that are, like, 23 minutes long. It's kind of crazy. So, um, the Silver Conquest is a longer, it's a bit of a longer video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do we just show the winning game of the Conquest? Quest. You guys like to see the entire story arc? Either way, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit the like button if you like the sports series. And if you want to watch live, definitely come check us out on Twitch. I'll have a link in the description as well. We get rid of Zabu. We Valkyrie, right? I respect the Venom play a lot, honestly. I have about 10 Conquest decks right now. This is a very... This should be a very clean win. This is why you have Demon Valkyrie on 6. Luke Cage protects our monster. Very nice. Null mid was weird. Null mid was really weird. Okay. We're good. It's a nice four cube win to get us started here. Very good, very good. And this is not a deck we match well against. Not at all. Uh, Sentry into deep space is actually really good. It's actually really good for us. We've actually not faced, we, uh, we've not been facing bots at all. We faced one bot earlier on, and it was like a ruthless cheating bot that was like borderline infuriating to play against. But no, we've not been facing bots. Um, I know that some people have been reporting that there's been quite a few bots, but our experience has been um, a little different. I think we hazmat this. We want this Deadpool to feel horrible. We have turn initiative. We can't demon yet. Can't demon yet. We're against a destroy player. So Sentry loves deep space. Yeah, chat's right. Killmonger is hugely problematic for um for us. This is pretty good for us right now. We're looking pretty good. We probably could have snapped here. It's Nimrod. Nimrod's good. So is actually this is a pretty good board on their on their behalf. We do have initiative. We snap again. Unfortunately, Luke Cage. Luke Cage cannot go into either location effectively. So it's gonna be Viper by itself. Viper into... Yeah, this is so good. I would have loved to be able to play Luke Cage, but he's not playable. Set, bug. He actually beats us mid. 
Yikes. Closer than it could have been. These locations really impacted us. They really negatively impacted us. But you're like, Valkyrie is low-key MVP right now. It looks like our opponent has decided to smash their phone against the floor. Which effectively grants us victory here. Good job, team. We're moving on to phase two of Marvel Snap's silver competition. Victory. And we're the dubs. Got the dub. Very clean. 10-0. 10-0. Against the Destroy deck, by the way, which should have beat us. Should have beat us. But um, the Valkyrie was just too wild. You'd love to see it. We get our 40 medals. We knock off Omarisha. And we're going to battle number two. We're fighting for 60 medals and a golden ticket. All right, guys. Battle number two. Let's go. We have a deck that honestly deals really well in this meta. It has so many answers. It's so annoying to play against. We only match poorly against Destroy, really. High Evolutionary is not great either because of their use of Luke Cage. But everywhere else, we're laughing. We're generally laughing. I, I promise you the goggles do nothing. Star-Lord going into Lost Diablo's base. We got ourselves a Star-Lord. Hmm. I think it's Luke. I think we keep them together. We do have an Enchantress. I love this Moon Girl uh, avatar with the goggles do nothing. Okay, Cerebro. Now I'm forced. Oh, man. This is such a troll. So I guess it's Val I guess it's Sentry mid here. Bruh. Are you inebriated? Do you know not what you've done? Okay. So there's a couple things that happen here. We have Valkyrie. We have Enchantress. We have Hazmat. Right? Like, there's no way they win this game. Debris. Hazmat. Carnage. No. Enchantress Valkyrie. We're going for eight. It's Doctor Doom. I respect it. Eight cubes. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. But you can see once again, Valkyrie has been insane. Insane here. I respect the Medusa. I respect the Medusa a lot. It's a lizard. I don't mind Lizard. Let's get trolled by X-Mansion. Ebony Maw kind of wrecks him. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? What are the chances?
Got to be very careful Fist Tower here. Actually, if they, if they pull Lara's Fist Tower, they could pull the Ebony Maw. They're snapping here. I could just retreat. This could win. There's a chance this wins. A very small chance. No. Yeah, they win by two. It's okay. I don't know what the hell their deck is, though. I'll tell you that right now. They have a really weird list. Another Fist Tower game? Another Fisk Tower game. Triskillian's probably not what we want. They're getting value out of this Medusa. Okay. I guess it's Bishop. Debris. Carnage. Getting that Sarah out early is pretty insane for them. So it's C5. I respect the fact they're playing C5, honestly. It's kind of crazy. I think we just take out Cerebro. We have turn initiative. We don't know if they have Mystique or not. We take out the Cerebro. We have Valkyrie for turn six. On the right. We play Deathlock. We're going to hold our demon to play in conjunction with Valkyrie. Sentry as a 10 is pretty big on this side. They have Doctor Doom. They're still down two different locations. The question becomes, is it just Valkyrie, demon, right? We don't have to do that, though. Yeah, it's Valkyrie, then demon. Play the Valkyrie. Demon should cover the gap. We go first, which is not what we want. Which is one of the reasons why I debate putting Ghost in this deck, by the way. Star-Lord. Okay, good job. By one. By one. We walk, we walk away with our silver ticket. Very nice. We win the silver, only t losing two health through the entire run. And Chandra's gets some love. We've pulled our golden ticket. Very nice. I'm happy about this, you know? I'm happy about this. I'm happy that we ended up pulling off this particular win here. Um, it feels good to get a golden ticket. Look at this. Look how cute it is. We've got a golden ticket. Fantastic. You love to see it. You love to see it. And uh, what we're going to do now, I mean, this is going to be another video for another day, but right now what we got to do is we got to spend some of our tokens here. We're going to go to the store. Where's the shop? We've got ourselves purchases made. We have 200 coins. We have to see what, our, what we get from the mystery variant here. Come on. Not a pixel. Not a pixel. Okay, Dan hit Rhino. 
I'll take it. We got ourselves a Dan Hip Rhino. That's fantastic. Can we buy anything else? We can buy we can buy another silver ticket. But that's not what we're gonna be doing today. We can buy green goblin boosters. But anyways, um, that's exciting. Getting that dub, very clean wins, toxic. I mean, toxic junk, it did it. it. It really messed up people's ability to play their game. And we got the dub. And I actually thought the destroy deck was pretty well suited to beat us. So guys, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you in that next Marvel Snap video.